Hello and welcome to another video. I am in the process of moving at the moment as I mentioned in one of my previous videos and guess what popped in the mail? Dun, 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 dun. My scrawler box for, what month is it? Uh, it'll be November's scroll box um, and I thought whilst everything's in boxes except my camera <laughs> I should quickly open this and potentially do a bit of a film of it once like, it might be like bits here and there where I'm filming downstairs or, or anything I don't know because I literally have packed up absolutely everything except this camera and this light so let's just get into this if you don't know what scroller box is it is an art subscription box um, it's based in the UK it is 15 pounds for the box a month and free shipping in the UK and then it's there's an extra fee for outside of the UK and basically every month you get a mixture of art supplies and you do not know what they are and there is also this thing called a scroller challenge which tells you a word or a phrase and you basically use just the supplies in the box to create a piece of art based on that word or phrase and um, there is also a featured art artist in the box it can be anyone from around the world and they do a piece of art and then that's what the scholar challenge is based off so let's get into the box Featured artist. Look at that art, that's beautiful. Looks like it's done in inks. That's absolutely stunning. I love it. So, the featured artist is Kai. Sorry about that if I pronounced it wrong. Kai Burton, uh, based in Bristol. So, I'll let you read a little bit about him. And here is some of his social media, which I will certainly be checking out after I've filmed this. Open up the package. So that's got all our all our supplies on it, and you get our lovely sticker. Oh, this looks good! I'm excited. So we also get a little bit of a sweet in here. This will focus. So, I'm not sure what this one is. Um, potentially strawberries and cream, rhubarb and cream, rhubarb and custard, strawberries and cream. I don't know. Anyway, save that for later. So, let's have a look at our list. First on here is the Spectrum Noir Art Liner set. So, I'm pretty sure we've had. Have we had art liners on here before? I don't think so. But, so, let's get that glare away. So, these outliner pens are a fine line pen, perfect for sketching, outlining, and colouring fine details. Smudge free and can be used with alcohol, mixed media or just doodling. The set contains a great selection of line widths and brush pen. So crack these open and get a scrawl in. Okay, so that looks interesting. I'm assuming these are just like any other kind of fine liner, but it comes with a brush pen, which I like. I like that. It's quite a good idea. Let's see if we can get into these. Let's see if my scissors will get us in. Where have I put them? Like I say, everything is an absolute mess and I can never find anything in this room at the moment. Um, okay, let's see. Wow, this tape must be industrial. <laughs> Brush nib, I think. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what the barrel looks like. No, I don't think we've ever had one of these. That's good. I like it when we get a different type of pen. Whoa, that's a really fine brush nib. I like that. Good enough camera in focus. Yep. Look at that. It's very fine, that. Whoa. Very nice. So, they'll be nice to work with. Very good. Okay. Next on the list is an art line gold metallic marker. So that's this. I think, I don't know, I, can, I get confused. I feel like Artline. We've had Artline products before. We've had pens, etc. Have we have had a gold pen? I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's get something to test this on. That's last week's. Okay, last month's even. Okay, so metallic. Does it say 1.2, rich in pigment, and creates an excellent metallic effect? Okay, so do one of those pumping things, which never works on camera. It always takes 60 years to work. this and um, I'll keep pumping it whilst we work on other things. So next on the list is a Stedler metal compass with pencil. So that will be this. Um, just looks like a regular compass. It kind of looks plastic. It doesn't look like it would be metal. Um, and it comes with a little pencil. So that is not working for me right now. This might come in handy at work actually. So, I'm pretty sure everyone probably knows how to use um, a compass. So, put that in there. We line up the nibs. And tighten it. And then, you know, you can measure stuff and make certain size holes and it makes makes perfect perfect circles just like that great that'll come in handy I'm sure so we can get this pumping where did that nip off that oh here we go there we go we are working oh sort of there we go wow that is metallic very nice. So, I wonder what we can do with that. And last but not least, we have another Artline product. Scrollbox seem to like Artlines. Um, Supreme Metallic Marker. So this is a blue metallic marker. It kind of reminds me of that box. We had a few metallic blue marker markers in it. Uh, yeah, it seems about the same shade of blue as well. Same shade. It's kind of got a bullet nib. metallic blue. So a very strange mix of supplies. It doesn't say anything about the paper um, but we do have some paper here. Let's have a look. We do have some paper. It just feels like, I don't think it's, it's very special. I think it's just ordinary paper. It's kind of a bit smoother for the pens to glide over um, but I don't think it's very spectacular. Yeah, so um, the scroll channels is born from bubbles. So that is an interesting scroll challenge. I'm assuming that's based on this because it looks like it's coming out of the bubbles. It's going to be quite difficult because, you know, the this to get small, you can get small circles easy, 
but at the same time, I don't know. It's going to be difficult. It's difficult. But like I say, because I'm in the process of moving, I think it's going to be a while until maybe this video comes out or um, or if it does come out, the footage of me actually making the art is going to be a bit all over the place. Um, and yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this first part of the video and please stay tuned to find out what I do with these supplies based on the scroll ch challenge born from bubbles so thanks for watching I'll see you in a moment well on to the art so I really was struggling with this theme and with all the crunch of everything happening um, all around this time of year etc moving it was just very difficult to think of a piece of artwork and um, so I took inspiration from my little cat and got a bit of a photo from of him and drew his cute little face <laughs> and then I just decided to draw some bubbles around that and frame it almost um, but again it's not it's not spectacular but it it's not bad either so I drew all that with the, the pencil and um, used the uh, compass and then I just proceeded to use the Spectrum Noir liners just to create the line work basically. So I used the brush pen for the cat. Um, you'll see some ugly stages. The, the eyes are a little bit uh, different. One of them's more round, one of them's more elongated. I don't know how that happened but I tried to rectify it a bit later. Um, and again I lined the bubbles as well but with a very thin liner almost gapping the line so that it doesn't look like a solid circle. Um, and then a little bit later I added some gold accents to the eyes and um, the whiskers um, and a I think a little bit on the bubbles um, and then I used the, the metallic blue to um, to make the bubbles look more bubbly <laughs> um, yeah anyway it's very simple art and um, nothing spectacular but I think it actually worked out quite nice and with the colours I don't think you really could create anything you know too too spectacular but I think I think it looks quite good um, and I uh, I don't know <laughs> uh, let me know what you think um, anyway and if you do like this video please give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video so thank you very much for watching and have a very very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year bye bye Seg segment This, I think this is around Christmas, yeah, so this is when I got my FW acrylic inks um, and I was just doing a little bit of a kind of test of all the colours and moulding them doing it together and doing doodles. This was with a paintbrush though, so it was taking quite a while to do all of that. Um, my family went to...